good. Well, thank you so much for bringing the, uh, the lightsaber down to San Diego for us. Are you going to Comic-Con? We're going to a party. Sweet! <laughs> Comic-Con's the best party. This dude knows how to live. Uh, what is your name? Joshua. Joshua, and uh, you're running the course as well? Yes. How'd it go? Great. Now, uh, what has this experience been like for you? Um, it's been fantastic. Meeting so, so many people uh, and helping raise money for my course. Yeah. Do you know uh, Yoda's right behind you? Yes. Master Yoda, uh, did you have fun? An excellent time I had. How <laughs> exciting this was, and very proud am I to have been a part of this Make-A-Wish event. <laughs> you have the furriest backpack on right now. <laughs> what is your name? Inyaki. Inyaki, uh, how was it for you? Did you have a good time? Yeah. Good. Uh, what are you going to do for the... Now that you've gotten... Now that we've got a lightsaber down here to San Diego, what's the rest of your week look like? I don't know. <laughs> Pretty boring? You know there's a Comic-Con going on, right? Well, maybe, uh, maybe you should go to Comic-Con and, uh, and, and... Cause you guys, you have the distinction of being the first team of people who has brought the lightsaber all the way down the coast, uh, to Comic-Con. I remember you, Cassandra, right? You, you woke us up in the morning on Pacific Beach and started off that run at like six in the morning. Who wants to get up that early? Me. Right. But... <laughs> In this instance, it was for absolutely a good cause. Are you going to Comic-Con? No. Okay. Uh, guys, there's a huge comic book convention that's going on like 30 <laughs> feet from here. That is sort of like what we did out on the field, but times a million. So, I'm just saying, you're already dressed. Aiden's already ready. Aiden, Aiden's ready to go. Yes. The Aiden horse is uh, Alright, good. So, I want to introduce, this is Jared Dillon, uh, who's on the board for Make-A-Wish. Jared, I hand you the mic. Thank everybody so much for being here. Uh, the Make-A-Wish Foundation was started in San Diego in uh, 1983, and uh, we're very proud that we're coming up this summer on actually July 21st, we'll be granting wish number 3,000 in San Diego in an Imperial County. Uh, without, without events like this that support what we do as a board, as an organization, without great volunteers, friends like you guys, and most importantly, without these brave children, who everything we do, we couldn't do without your guys' brave uh, spirits, your courage. Uh, I want to salute you guys and give you guys another round of applause as well, please. Woo! Um, you know, and, and all the sponsors that have been involved with this, you know, it's really been amazing. eBay, Lucasfilm, um, you know, Nerdist, everybody has stepped up tremendously. Octagon, and it's, to help make this what it's been in year one has been amazing. And to hear the feedback I got to hear from the kids earlier today and to talk to some of you guys out in the crowd has just been awesome. And then having the support of Ashley and Chris and everybody else, Peter involved, is just amazing. And you know, for, for being on the Make a Wish board for about a year and a half, this has really kind of for me been the pinnacle so far. It's been just amazing. And we would not be able to grant wish number 3,000 coming up on July 21st at Petco Park without this event. And I know eBay has been huge with that. And it's still going to be going on through the 21st. Uh, so there's still a great way for people to donate and help out. Absolutely. So many people have asked me, if they're not in the state of California especially, how they can be involved in Course the Force. And it's easy. Go to ebay.com slash Course the Force. And there's so many cool items up there that you can bid on. And all of the money goes to make a wish. I mean, all of the money is directly granting wishes uh, for kids. And, and like you said, you wouldn't have gotten to that 3,000 wish without events like this. So ebay.com slash Course the Force. Go check it out. Everyone can be involved in Course the Force. And you know, lastly, I would just tell everybody if you're if you're not able to you know support it financially, giving up your time is equally as important. When I got involved with Make a Wish a year and a half ago, I really did not understand the power of a wish that it has on the kids and their families. And we have a number number of them here today. And I speak not only as a as a board member, but I'm actually a wish grantor as well. So I've been able to sit in the home of a child and hear that dream come to life. Um, and it's, it's just it's one of the best things you can ever hope to be a part of. So if you want to volunteer, please go to our website. We always have fun events that we're doing around San Diego and Imperial Counties. Great way to get involved in uh, you know, giving up your time is equally as important to us. So thank you again. Thank you, Jared Dillon. Uh, thank you so much to the kids. Do we, is there a presentation?
Do we have like a giant, hilarious novelty check or something to give you? That's, I think it's still going on through the 21st, so there's going to be a check presentation later, but the good news is, you know, we have to rip that check up because it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. So, all the way through the 21st, eBay, as Ashley mentioned, you'll be able to go on there and then there'll be uh, more of the official check uh, cutting after that. But on behalf of everybody at Make a Wish, all the kids, all the families, board of directors, we couldn't couldn't be happier with this. We want to thank you guys for involving Make a Wish. Thank you. Thank you so much, Eric. Thank you, kids. Thank you. You get to stop traffic. People were so mad until they're like, "Hey, what's the? Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool." Uh, thank you so much for being here, you guys. Uh, please, another round of applause for the kids. Right here. Let the Wookiee win. He didn't just tear his arms off, he threw him off the ship as well. 
Uh, and then you have one more piece. We do. As you can see, you know, they weren't really playing nice with one another, so we decided to uh, put them head to head in a Street Fighter esque sort of duel to see who came out on top. Alright, alright, let's see. This is the subtext of their relationship. This is totally accurate. 100% accurate. <laughs> oh, did I just sit there? Sweet! <laughs> that, I think that's a pretty fair representation of what would happen. We felt it'd be appropriate to give you the last word there in the fight. Fortunately, Matt and Jonah are not here to defend themselves, <laughs> so we're just going to say that's how it ended. Corey Butler, thank you so much for being here at Old Republic. Yeah, play the Old Republic. Why not? Uh, let's see what our next bit of business is here in the program. Oh, we couldn't have done this. A Ashley and I kind of manned some of the hosting duties, but certainly could not have done it alone. So we brought uh, two of my good friends who I've worked with for years at G4 and other various kind of nerdy endeavors and who now do a show called Four Points on the Nerdist channel. Please welcome to the stage, Alex Albrecht and Allison Hayslip. <laughs> who are conveniently sitting in the front row. Yeah, with microphones. That's Hello. weird. Yeah. Strangely, we had microphones. Just like an awards show. I'm I'm like, oh, the one guy who won an award was here. Um, so uh, you, guys did, you guys did an amazing, amazing job out well, we had I, I think we had actually the best job because oh, definitely. Allison and I got to literally come here on a job on Pleasure Barge. What kind of pleasure barge? We were riding on a pleasure barge. What? On, on a pleasure, pleasure barge. barge. Just, Just pleasure, pleasure barge. barge. Which, uh, that song happened within about 17, 17 minutes. 17 minutes, minutes of the day. You'll never be able to get that song as yeah. long as you live. You and can try. We probably spent wake you up about that. 25 hours. Sitting on the back of that pleasure barge, right? On the pleasure barge. <laughs> Job with pleasure barge. And yes, that's in our head. Yes. But no, it was amazing. We got to see all the runners. Uh, we got to meet all the runners. We had some people on the barge that we talked to. And then we got to go to Legoland. All, all four of us got to go to Legoland, which, which was, was amazing. Well, fun. I have to ask, what was your favorite moment then? Out of 25 hours, what was your favorite moment? We had an incredible moment today with, with Grievous over here, oh, which was one of the best yes. costumes I've ever seen in my life. That was but I will probably say that my favorite, favorite, like, top moment was Elijah, the King of Fast. The King of Fast. Who was just the greatest little kid I met, and he's the King of Fast! We all got to meet the King of Fast! What, he's faster than a hedgehog, he said? No, he's no. equally fast, fast as a oh, hedgehog. Okay. Equally he fast is faster than a boat. Faster than a boat, yes. equally as fast as a hedgehog. And he can do Correct. kung fu like a panda. He was adorable. I mean, and he's an R2. He was a little R2 unit and ran right up to the R2 unit. Yeah. Uh, I have to say, mind-blowing childhood dream come true. I actually got to interview R2 on the Java Pleasure Barge yesterday, I think. Unbelievable. Yeah. All the days have really melted together. <laughs> you know? I, I had no idea that you speak droid. I do. It's a, it's a, it's a hidden talent. Was that a language requirement in college? It was, it was. I went to a weird hippie uh, private school called Burgundy Farm Country Day School, and they treat, teach uh, uh, droid. That's, you did a great job with the interview. Thank you. And also perched on that barge, which, by the way, was... Could you see the faces of the people coming by that didn't, that were like... First off, the, the faces of the people coming by were the exact face I had when I first saw the barge. Because they said, oh yeah, we're going to have this, you know, replica, you know, Return of the Jedi Jabba Pleasure Barge. You kind of think it's just going to be a golf cart where they just, yeah. like, they just... Or made of, like, paper. You know what I mean? Like, they put a towel for the sale. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's our, that's our Pleasure Barge. I came around the corner of Santa Monica uh, to the, the now glorious chariot that I would be butt-planted on for five days. And literally, I mean, it was like, you just come around the corner, you're like, holy, what the, what? And then you touch it, and you're like, this is steel! It's solid. This yeah. is like steel! And there's actually, there was a moment where um, Allison was sitting, we were having lunch at some, like, beach, because we just stopped at a beach. In some and parking lot Some People were just mesmerized. And Allison was sitting there, and she had a Course of the Force bandana on, and these great uh, Star Wars sunglasses that are sort of modeled after, like, 50s Ray-Ban, right? Yeah. And she's, like, sitting there eating lunch, and I swear to God, in, like, a folding chair, and I swear to God, it looked like it could have been a production still. 